Hello friends my name is Jairo Lozano. Today we are in the agroecological farm Valeria, in the municipality of El Pinal, Antioquia, and we want to talk about some friends of agriculture worldwide, the bees. We as a farm have been doing a work of care, conservation and reproduction of some of these species. At the moment we work with apis, which are stinging bees and we have been fortunate to meet with a Colombian endemic species, which at this time by the bad practices that humans have developed not only in agriculture but in livestock, we have taken them almost to extinction. It provides very interesting ecosystem services, since the pollination it performs on native plant species ensures that many of these species will not be lost over time. I invite you to come to one of our colonies and learn a little about the process we carry out with them. Well friends we have arrived. We are in one of the bee colonies. Nigrescens, a species of Melipona, a native bee, Colombian endemic, stingless bees, so we will dare to manipulate it easily without any protective suit because they will not cause us any harm. For this I will call my father to help us here and to show you a little of the process. Please help us for a moment. This little bee for the farm is very important. Since in some areas of the country, due to bad practices or indiscriminate use of agriculture or livestock, we have greatly reduced those spaces where they used to live and have led them to be practically on the verge of extinction. We were fortunate that from the moment we arrived at the farm and began to establish our production system as we wanted. We found this little bee. At the beginning we did not know what we had found, but thanks to the support of some professionals who were reaching out to us. We discovered what was the treasure we had found and we began to do the work in the right way to contribute that grain of sand in its conservation and avoid that we reach that the little bee as such, is on the way to extinction, that we can at some point in life restore those systems where it once was. This little bee is so important because the pollination process it carries out is generally in native forest species, so these pollination processes allow that these native species, our natives, are not lost, that they continue their natural reproduction process and that we can conserve them in time. We work them imitating the houses that they normally make in the trunks, the tree trunks, which is where we usually find them, only that in these technical boxes we have the facility to be able to control some factors that prevent putting them at risk in some way since they have some natural enemies. It is also an easy way that we can make divisions, and that has been one of the achievements of the farm as well. This species have tried in other regions to make divisions of the colony, that is, from one colony to obtain two and in those regions they have been condemned to death precisely because of bad practices, here thanks to the support of a professional who has been working in Colombia for many years around meliponiculture, the engineer German Lotero, thanks to him we have done the proper work and things as they should, and that is why we initially had only one colony and now we have three thanks to these successful divisions that we have had. The colonies that we have are distributed in several strategic points of the farm. 
where it is easier for them to have access to food for those species that normally go out to look for their grazing. Also at the moment of the division, the colonies that we split cannot be together. We have to have some prudent distances so that part of the colonies that leave with the box that we are leaving can have access to food. If they return to the initial colony, we would be leaving only one colony and we would be making a failed division. So we have to respect a minimum distance of 10 meters if we have the space we have here on the farm. Then we distribute them a little further away and that guarantees part of the process. We are going to uncover at this moment the colony, to give a glimpse of the state it is in and more or less how they carry out their work. The technified boxes are divided into several sections. Each one of these sections fulfills a vital function for the colony as such. We have an entrance, an entrance where the bees are normally accessing the house, and where they also leave in search of their resources. Of all those resources they require, we have some initial compartments where they say that it is the real house. Is where the queen establishes herself and starts this great process that she carries out, which is to be able to count on large populations, that is, an important process of reproduction all the time and we have other compartments that are already the storage centers of all the resources that they acquire from our native forests or from the plants in which they graze. We have a lid that serves us to seal the colony and prevent some of the enemies that they have. Which have several including a fly, the forty, which takes advantage of the colonies to come and put their larvae in certain parts of the colony, these larvae reproduce and feed on those of the bees themselves or on those resources or on the new larvae that are being formed as bees. So when these pest species arrive, this is condemning the colony to death, or if we manage to control them at least it weakens them a lot. So if we can avoid the arrival of these little pests it is the best thing for the colony. Another enemy of the little bees, these melipona bees, are the ants and the ants take advantage of the resources that they have collected to look for food. Then they come in and take that food and there are even some ants that are aggressive and kill the bees in search of that food. So the little ants should also be kept away from our colonies. Here we are going to uncover one of the colonies, at this moment the bees are going to start coming out. This is the species, the species as such is called nigressin, it has unique production characteristics, it is the only bee that produces honey at altitudes above 2000 meters, it is very efficient in production up to 2800 meters that IT is very efficient in production up to 2800 meters. But there was a time when they detected the presence of these colonies up to 3200 meters, so bees that allow pollination processes of native species at those heights is a blessing because they are helping us in there process of conservation of these plant species, so we are in the colony of nigressins, stingless bees, a bee that belongs to a group of major meliponas. The meliponas are native to America. This type of bees we are not going to find them neither in Europe, nor in Asia, nor in Africa, nor in any other part only in America, these nigressins is endemic to Colombia. The major bees are large bees and for that reason they require technified houses. Ideal structures if we want to make an efficient process of production and reproduction. 
The minor bees are also very productive bees, but they are smaller in size. They are tiny, they look like mosquitoes. And these bees have been characterized. The native bees, because their honeys have certain benefits to the medicinal part, to health as such. So much so that one of the best known honeys is of a species called Tetragonista angostula, that belongs to the smaller bees, and that many people precisely because of these benefits, apply them in the eyes, since they help not only in cleaning but in many ailments, many affections that occur in the eyes. We are uncovering the colony to check the state, how they are, to be able to see the way they work, each one of their structures because this little bee is very special. They store their resources in pots, in vessels that they make by extracting waxes, nectars and many other residues from the environment. From trees, from plants, from the soil and with that they come and build these buildings. We are going to access a second level, which is also an area dedicated to honey production and storage of resources. The magic happens. At this moment we are checking a second compartment. As I was saying, it is also focused on the storage and conservation of resources. We can clearly see some little pots with honey, at this moment it is honey already directly in other compartments with pollen. We can see that there is a very good population, that they are working properly, there is a very good resource. We are going to place it again in its place and we are going to enter one more compartment. In case today we are lucky. Enough to meet and see the queen. Melopona bees are orderly and have different structures from the way they do it. The arcs, the stinging bees. The stinging bees are vertical structures where they also store their resources in them. We see that they store them in alveoli, in small reduced compartments. They store them in large vessels and in them they store honey, pollen and some other resources. Here for example we have already arrived to an important zone of the colony, which is the brood zone, the queen must be near because at this moment we could not detect her but we realize that she is doing an efficient work, because we see a structure where there are some bees in formation. Soon they will come out and those are the ones that will replace the old bees of the colony that have already completed their life cycle and are dying, in the process. Well we have detected that this colony is very healthy, soon we will be able to split this colony into two new colonies, and thus we will be guaranteeing the conservation of this species, thanks to a single colony we have three. We will soon have six because all of the ones we have are so far out of stock that they are. Have a very good number of people, they have very good resources, they have very 
stored collected for the times of crisis and we see that they are queens that are, are dedicated to what they know how to do, to continuing the process of, reproduction and conservation of the species. All of us can contribute and make a huge contribution to the development of the conservation and care of these species. The fact that we as producers may not have them does not mean that we cannot also contribute a grain of sand because, if we also care about conserving native plant species, all those forests and protect forests and protect the plants of our systems, if every day we are enriching our system with diversity, with decorative plants, with very good flowering, with plants. There are many aromatic plants that benefit them. They like to go and look for resources in them. So the mere fact that we as the benefit is not only for them, the benefit is for all of us, since pollination is so important that the people who are dedicated to agriculture can get healthy products products of a very good quality to the market or to the table, we watch over our food security. When we are making technified reproduction processes in this way, in boxes that we ourselves are elaborating, or that we get precisely for these means, we also make use of some tools that in different parts of the world have been designed or have worked to look for some benefits. The bees, each species of melopona, can also be differentiated in the type of honeycomb, the honeycombs are the entrances where they enter the colony and where they leave. When we make divisions in some moments, the new colonies are somewhat poor in resources in terms of honey, pollen, etc. So for that reason, we have to find the best way to get the most out of them in that type of resources. So for that, the Brazilians designed a small tool a small gadget with which they can provide them with artificial food while they reach the strength and balance they require we have an imitation of the entrances to the house where they enter there are a series of labyrinths in this tool but the most important thing about it is that it is a very important tool but the most important thing about it is that it has an upper chamber accompanied by a small bottle that we organize a small hole in the lid in this bottle we are going to organize a nectar. This nectar is a mixture that we make of honey of apis, honey of other species mixed with water. It is a syrup and this syrup we include it in the bottle, we put it in the chamber that the tool has and they, the little bees, what they are going to do is to take this nectar from the bottle, they take it, they store it in the little bottles, in the containers that they elaborate and this way they will have food available for times of crisis. For cold times or for some times when they need this type of nectar. Strengthening. The production of resources depends on the size of the bee, that is, if they are larger or smaller bees. The larger bees can produce between half a liter and a liter of honey per year and the smaller bees. Let's say that the quantities are smaller. They are fewer but they are a little more concentrated honeys, with very exquisite and very specific flavors, since the flavors and colors of these honeys are due to the flowering that they normally frequent. The honey of this bee of this major bee of the nigrescens, 
is a very transparent honey because the flowering that they frequent are very white flowers, they are flowers that do not have so much pigmentation, there are some bees that frequent very colorful flowers and that also helps to the color of the honey, to be very reddish or very brown honeys, some dark colors and contributes to the flavor, there are some more bitter honeys, some sweeter, some less sweet than everything influences, according to the flowering that they are visiting. We have already reviewed our colony, we have seen that they are working properly, it is a colony that is very strong. We have already put the compartments in the place where they should go and we have one last job to do, we are talking about the enemies and as we have been moving the compartments we may have some spaces between each one of them, through which these enemies can enter and generate some problem within the colony. To make sure we avoid this problem we are going to use a masking tape. And we are going to cover those spaces through which these enemies that the little bees have could enter. In this way we are also contributing to protect them from contamination by enemies. We are going to cover them again so that the rain will not affect them and they are ready. We will let them rest for today.